Hello everyone! Today we play through Bowser's Fury, but every cat shine doubles Mario's size! So here we are, we're starting off tiny, and soon we're gonna be absolutely ginormous! But there's a big problem with being this small. If I jump through something, I just no clip through the ground and die. So to prevent Mario from falling through the ground, I have to go and collect some cat shines. Oh, Mario's normal size here, but I can talk to Bowser Jr. He can become my companion. He'll help out a ton with this. Where's the first cat shine that I can get? Because playing this small is going to be really difficult. I can't do this for long. Bro, I keep on no clipping through the ground. One thing I am wondering is what happens when I collect the Giga Bell. That's going to be really interesting to find out. Okay, okay. Just let me collect the power up without clipping me through the floor, please. But if I can make my way up here without clipping through the floor. Okay, I'm not clipping through anymore. I don't know if it was just like a one-time glitch or... It's because being small in this game actually changes your hitbox, and I, I guess the models in this game collide weirdly with Mario being s this small. And our first cat shines up there. Our first cat shines up there. It shouldn't be too much of a challenge to get to. I, oh, oh, I got really scared by all those things. The Goombas are here. I think I can just climb all the way up here to get my first cat shine. I better not clip through the ground here. No! No! Oh... Wait, Fury Bowser's spawning. I might be able to get him to break a block round here, and that will spawn a cat shine? Yeah, here, these Bowser bricks. If I get him to shoot his fire at me, come on. He's so intimidating compared to little tiny Mario, but if I get him to shoot the fire here, I can get him to break these bricks. Come on. Hit them? Yes, okay, he's hit them, and I can collect this cat shine. Nice, and that will double Mario's size. There we go, he's scared off now. He's scared off by the cat shine. Will Mario be bigger? Let's find out. He, look, he looks a bit bigger, yeah. He definitely is bigger because before he was bigger than his footsteps. Now his footsteps are like a reasonable size for him. He's still got giant feet, but he's not like the same size as his footsteps. What can I get by doing this? Will I get something cool? A fire flower. I guess that could be helpful because this challenge is quite hard. Can I still fall through the floor at this size? It looks like I'm falling through the floor less. I might be able to just make my way up now, now that I don't have to worry about falling through the floor. And I'll be able to get to the next cat shine, which will double my size again. And then I think I'll be like a reasonable size then to get around. Here we are. Here's the cat shine. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I saw him grow. There we go. We've got three shines now. We seem to be like regular size. We're about the same size as Bowser Jr. But I wonder what will happen when I collect the Giga Bell. Will Giga Mario be any bigger or smaller than normal? Whoa, that's a cool Giga Bell. Yes, it is. I really want to know what will happen with the Giga Bell here. But what I can do is I can get another shine up in this area. It seems about the same difficulty as normal. It doesn't seem that much harder at the moment. Or am I normal size? I want to collect all these mini shards because if I collect every single shard here, I unlock a cat shine. We've also got Boomerang Mario here, which will be really helpful. I think over this wall there's another cat shard, which I want to collect all the cat shards. Come on, do a dive. No, no, okay. I almost fell down. I almost fell off. But there we go. We've got the second cat shard. Oh, there's one up that wall. I want to get to this wall. There we go. I've got three of them now. I only need two more and then I collect the moon. Why do I keep on calling them moons? They're cat shards. I'm used to playing Mario Odyssey. I've got like Mario Odyssey brain on, not Bowser's Fury brain. I need to change my brain to Bowser's Fury brain now. But if I make my way up here, I'm pretty sure there's a cat shine at the top. And that will double my size, which will be pretty epic. But at these really, really big sizes, I think it's going to become really difficult. There we go. Here's another cat shine. Shard. Shard, not shine. There's a difference between the shards and the shines. Yeah, there we go. Down here, there's another cat shard. Shine. That one's a shine. That one's a shine this time. I got sent flying forwards. And there we go. Another cat shine. And that doubles my size. Did you see that? He just blew up again. <laughs> right on the end of the animation. He's looking quite big there. And there's another shot I can get there if I get a cat suit. I need to get a cat suit. I don't know if I'm too big to climb stuff now. But now I'm bigger than Bowser Jr. <laughs> Bruh. What happens if I jump on him? Nothing. Can I still fit in these clear pipes? I might not be able to fit in them. Yeah, I can. Oh. If I ground pound up here, I think I get a cat bell. Yes, I do. I might be able to snipe this cat shine. If I snipe this cat shine, you have to subscribe. Deal? All right. Let's go cat... Snipe. Oh yes, let's go. Now you have to subscribe. 
Oh, okay. Okay, I'm getting very big here. A message from the Super Bell. I've unlocked the Super Bell because I've got five cat shards. Let's just wait for Fury Bowser to spawn again. We, I guess we can get another moon in this time. I want to make my way back up here, but there's a button that spawned. There's a button that spawned here. I'm at the size now where it's going to start affecting gameplay because of how big I am. Hurry, jump high. Jump fast. Okay, I want to be fast. I want to jump high to get this power moon. To get this pat no, no, it's not a power moon. It's a cat shine. To get this cat shine. Oh, Fury Bowser are spawning. I want to get this before Fury Bowser spawns, because otherwise it will scare him off, and I don't want to scare him off. Oh, I can't, I can't clack cat climb on stuff anymore. Okay, I might be able to get this. Two seconds. Yes, there we go. Nice. You see, it started to rain, which means that Fury Bowser's on his way. Oh, my controller's starting to shake again. I can hear him spinning. That means that the- yes, it's turned night time. That means that the Super Bell's about to unlock. This is going to be so interesting what happens with the Super Bell. Because I think we're on four times the size at the moment. Will the Giga Bell be four times the size? I wonder how big this is going to make Mario. But we've collected it, we'll find out in a second. I'm so interested. It looks about the same now, but I'm pretty sure this is just a cutscene. Yeah, this is just a cutscene, so when we get to actual gameplay, we'll find out. Hmm. No, it seems to be the same as normal. Oh, I think it's set to a certain scale. That's kind of sad. I wish it would have done something cool. Wait, it's glitching a bit. Do you see that? He's like flickering to a bigger size. That's strange. Maybe it's trying to be a bigger size, but it's shrinking me back down. But he's about to ground pound on me, which means I can ground pound on him. Ground pound on me. Oh, no, I got hit. I lost my cat. There we go. I just want to ground pound him one more time. Then we unlock more places to explore, which is cool. The cat bell. He's flickering into a bigger size. I reckon it's meant to make me bigger, but the game's working against me, I guess. The code's working against me. He's about to ground pound again. I want to be careful. Jump over him and then do a ground pound on him. Oh, he's so low. I can just do a cat swipe to kill him now, I think. Cat swipe. Rah! Oh, okay. He's about to ground pound. I just want to jump over his fire attack and then jump on him. There we go. Fury Bowser's dead. Aw, I forgot how pretty this game is. I love this game. Like the cat-shaped rainbow. That's so wholesome. And we've unlocked all of this area now. No, we've unlocked this. It's coming out of the ocean. I thought it was just like a giant empty lake. I haven't played this game in like six months. So I've forgotten a lot of it. We've unlocked Plessy. What happens when we jump on Plessy's back whilst we're giant? That's going to be an interesting experiment. What happens when giant Mario jumps on Plessy's back? Wait, why am I back to normal size? Bruh. What? Okay. He just grew up out of nowhere. That is so strange. But before I jump on Plessy's back, I can get another cat shine by grabbing this daisy rabbit. That is cursed. That is so cursed. He, it looks like he shouldn't be holding it. He's like picking it up using mind control. Mario's a magician. He's using mind control. The cat seems quite happy though, so it can't be painful. Why is this so cursed? Come here, kitty. Oh, he's sad because he's lost his baby. I've got your baby. I've got your baby for you. No, no it's your baby. Take your baby. There we go. I threw it at you and you didn't even realize. Cats, honestly. But there we go, we get another cat shine. Oh, I'm getting quite big. All right, now let's test what happens when we jump on Plessy's back. Oh, okay. All right, it works like normal, it works like normal. He's just got a giant Mario on his back. Plessy shouldn't be able to do this. I think this like defies the laws of physics that Plessy can like support a giant Mario on his back. Is there anything for me to get here, though? It's weird how Plessy can go on land. Oh, all right. I want to get a cat suit. I want to get another cat suit. There we go. And I can press this button. What will this button do? What will this purple button do? Oh, I have to kill all these enemies to unlock a shine, I think. But I want to do it in a time limit. Oh, no. I just got damaged. It's going to be very easy to get damaged now because of how big I am, how big my hitbox is. This seems pretty easy. I don't want to get hit by the fireballs, and I just want to jump on this piranha's head. And there we go. Another cat shine's unlocked. Nice. 
I saw his shadow get bigger. I saw Mario's shadow get bigger. I've got another cat bell, and I want to make my way up here. What will happen when I go in the ice skating boot? Because there's an ice skating boot up here. I can somehow still go in this clear pipe. That looked really weird. What will happen when I press A? Will giant Mario just shoot out the cannon? Yeah. Bro, that's so cursed. What will happen when I collect this power-up, though? This ice skate power-up. What? <laughs> what? How does that work? It's like he's riding a bike. He looks almost like he's riding a bike. Oh, man. This is too funny. This is too funny. Is my hitbox affected? I can still hit these... Yes. Oh, no, I lost the ice skate because I bonked. I can collect these shards, though. These shards will be helpful. Oh, I don't want to get damaged. It's so easy to get damaged in here because of how big I am. I have very little wiggle room. Will I get another ice skate, though? I want to get another ice skate because this is quite funny. There we go. There's another ice skate here, but there's another shard up there, which I can get Bowser Jr. to collect. All right, I can get myself another ice skate and make my way down here. Oh, <laughs> because I took damage on normal Mario, and normal Mario looks also really funny. <laughs> Oh, he's so happy. He's so happy with his ice skate that he has. Oh, this is wholesome. Wholesome moment in Bowser's Fury. It's really difficult because I can't... I can barely see anything because of how big Mario is now. Oh, this is so... How is he not getting hit? He's got hit... He's getting hit by the spikes visually, but nothing's happening. Okay, I just clipped through the wall. What is this? What is this? I clipped through the wall trying to get up. Stuff through the wall doesn't seem to have texture, though. You see, Mario's texture seems to be, like, clipping onto it. Bro, this is so weird. Wait, it's not letting me out. Okay, it is letting me out. It, it just wouldn't let me out through one of the walls. Okay, okay, I've made my way up. I can get Bowser Jr. to collect the shine for me. Yes, thank you, Bowser Jr. You're so kind. There we go, another cat shard. My size is going to double again. Wait. I think I just saw him double in that screen there. But there's also a cat shard down here which I can grab. Oh, Mario's doing a dive down. Nice. There we go. That's another one. I'm nearly the size of the lighthouse now. It looks like the game's probably going to be unplayable soon. But I'll try to do as much as I can. I reckon I can make it to 20 shines before the game becomes unplayable. That's my prediction. Let me know what your prediction is in the comments. How does that work? He's standing on nothing. <laughs> I can just get flung by standing on nothing. Oh, do you know what would be interesting? Doing a boom boom fight. Fighting boom boom whilst I'm this big. That would be interesting, very interesting to say the least. But Fury Bowser is just about to spawn, which means I can get another shine by breaking the breakable bricks. By getting him to shoot his fire at me. He is so scary. There's a load of breakable bricks by the super bell. I need five more shines to get the super bell, unfortunately. Oh, I just got damaged. No, stop damaging me. I get hit by everything because of how big I am. I died. Bruh. It was almost unfair because there were so many projectiles shooting at me. Aw, I can't get the Bowser bricks anymore. But I think I do want to fight Boom Boom. For the sake of science, I think I'm going to shrink down so I can make it into the arena. It's for science, so it's not oh, cheating. Shit. There we go. We're in the arena. I can become big again. See? And I can fight Boom Boom. Because Boom Boom should be here. Boom Boom versus Mario's legs. Who will win? Because we can only see Mario's legs. Oh, no. Wait, this is going to be really easy. Because all I have to do is jump. And I can bounce on his shallow ton. I can combo shell bounces. As long as I don't stay on the ground for long, it should be pretty easy. All right, he's gone invisible. I just want to jump. Okay, this has made the boss way easier. No, uh, uh. Oh, no, no, no. I guess I ate my own words there. I shouldn't have said it was easy. Let's try that again. I just need to not fail. I need to not get cocky, I guess. If I become Fire Mario, do my fireballs become giant? Let's give that a test. No. No, they don't. What was I expecting? Was I expecting him to have giant fireballs? I got hit. I shouldn't have got hit there. I was jumping. I guess he's got like a hurt box for some of the time. But he only needs one more hit to go down, I think, because Boom Boom only needs three hits in these games. There we go. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't get a kill by just one hit because of how heavy Mario must be. Mario must be really, really heavy. Oh, and I can also get that bunny rabbit. I'm pretty much in jail here. I'm trapped, I think. I'm going to have to cheat again to get out. You saw nothing. Avert your eyes for a second. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. 
There we go, I'm big again. All right, we can jump on Plessy's back now to chase this rabbit. How will this look, to riding on Plessy? What? <laughs> what on earth is this? Oh, poor Plessy. Plessy must, this must be really painful for Plessy. Never mind, Mario's just floating. I can barely see the rabbit. I just have to guess where the rabbit's going. I just want to chase this rabbit down. Come here, bunny. Hey, bunny. Can I stun it? Yes, let's go. I caught the rabbit. Ruined rabbit play tag. I'm surprised Plessy isn't going slower because of how heavy Mario is. I can also go get that Plessy ring. This Plessy ring here will give me another shine. Okay, I think I have 20 seconds to make it all the way over there. Go through this like obstacle course. This is going to be really difficult with having like my vision blurred because I can only see like half the screen at this point. I just want to hit all the boost panels though. I have a vague idea where all the boost panels is because I played this game before. And I'm a professional Mario player. I know what I'm doing. Oh. I'm nearly there. Okay, am I gonna... No, no, I missed it. All right, I'm trying it again. Hopefully I don't fail this time. No, I bonked again. I bonked again. Come on. Yes, okay. I hit it this time. Very nice, very nice. Oh, all I see now is Mario's feet. This is so difficult. I've got an idea of a star that or a shine that would be pretty funny. Here, yes, here. This, like, box aisle with all the bullies on. Bully the cat bullies. Yes, here. Okay, what I want to do here is hit this invisible box here. There we go. Bowser Jr. activated the box, and now I'm giant star Mario. I can't really see much, but I just want to run into the bullies. Can I go into snapshot mode? Oh, he's got, like, a glowing aura on him. Okay, there's another print bully behind me. Where are the, where's the last bully? Is the last bully there? Yes, I hit all the bullies. That was so chaotic. Giant star Mario. I could barely see anything. It was just like a rainbow on my screen. But there we go. We've got another shine. Mario is so high up. Oh, can I pick up that baseball over there? Will I still be able to pick up objects at this size? Let's give it a test. It looks like I have. I'll have to go into snapshot mode to see. What? What's happened to this baseball then? He's holding a giant baseball. It's made the baseball ginormous. When I throw it, will it turn giant? No, it goes back to regular size. This is so sad. What I want to do here is get a key. Okay, key to catch on. I want to collect a key along here. I have to duck down if I want to do anything. I I have to like stay permanently ducked so I can get underneath like everything. It might be easier to do everything as Plessy because Plessy has a smaller hitbox than Mario at the moment. Okay, I can dismount Plessy and make my way up here. And I think the key is somewhere along here. Alright, I've made my way up here. Am I going to be able to... Oh, am I going to be... Okay, I've got the key. I've got the key. Whoa. Okay, I might be able to make it down to the cage. I want to be careful because Bowser... Fury Bowser's about to spawn. I wasn't able to clip in. Oh, I want to be quick because Fury Bowser pretty much kills me instantly because of, I just get hit by all the random projectiles that he throws out. Come on, I need to make it to this key. I had the key a second ago. Am I going to die now? Oh, I'm not... What did I even get killed by? Alright, so I think I've figured out what's happened. When when I touch the water, I lose the key. So I want to make my way down somehow without touching water. I touched water here, though. This is so annoying. Maybe if I go up this way. Okay, I haven't touched water yet. I've still got the key. I might be able to throw the key along. Okay, I threw the key down. Got the key again. Oh! What? Wait, do I have to walk up to it? I think I have to shrink down if I actually want to use the cage. That's a bit annoying, but I did bring it there all the way down. There we go. I can go become the size again. There we go. Yeah, a little bit cheating, but I, I was just annoyed because of how long that moon took. That took me to get. That shine took me too long to get. <laughs> Mario's almost the size of the entire map now. You collected 15 cat shines. Okay, I'll be able to defeat Fury Bowser now. And I think we're getting pretty close to the game being unplayable now. But when Fury Bowser spawns, I'll be able to collect this Giga Bell. It will come to life, won't it? There we go. <laughs> Mario's way bigger than it. It's meant to be some like big giant object that's meant to be like intimidating. But Mario is bigger than it. I can just run up to it to collect it. There we go. He's probably smaller now than he was before. All right, I just want to beat this fight then. I can ground pound it on him. There we go. There we go. I can hit him again. I can ground pound on him again. 
I can ground pound on him again. There we go. He should only need one more ground pound. Oh, never mind. That's him done. Oh, I might be able to fight Pom Pom now. In the arena that Boom Boom was, Pom Pom should have spawned. I want to fight Pom Pom. This is going to be really cool. All right, let's make our way to Pom Pom. Mario's so big. He's also kind of thick. Not going to lie. Once again, I'll have to cheat to get in. But here we are. We can now fight Cat Pom Pom. This is going to be super interesting. Because... I might be able to stomp on all their clones at once because it looks like I'm the same size as the entire arena. All right, I just want to jump and then... Oh, her clones just disappeared immediately. If I keep on jumping, I should just be able to stomp on her clones. Oh, this is the easiest boss fight ever. What on earth? I just didn't need it to keep on jumping and I jumped on her head instantly. But there we go. And our size has doubled again. I don't think I'm getting out of this one. I don't think there's any more shines that I can realistically get. Mario's constantly jumping on Bowser Jr. now. I might be able to get an infinite height glitch in here. Not quite. And I'm stuck here. I guess this is a good place to leave it. But if you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy Super Luigi Odyssey, but every moon doubles Luigi's speed. It's a really good video, very entertaining, and I'll see you over there. Click on screen now to watch it, and I'll see you over there. Bye!